All right, what's going on, everyone? This is Box Wave. So we got a rematch between Lyndon Arthur and Anthony Yard coming up this Saturday. It's going to be on BT Sports. We're not going to have access to it over here unless we find some way to stream it. But it's going to be earlier in the afternoon. I think the card starts around 2.30 p.m. Eastern for us. It's going to be later over there for the, for the UK. Um, but these guys are going to have a rematch. Yard lost the first fight last year to um, on a decision. OK, and I was come. I guess it was somewhat controversial because Yard and his team didn't really feel that they lost. You know, I remember the time some people felt that Yard won based on the fact that he was able to hurt him and, and put a little pressure on uh, Arthur late in that fight. But um, I personally think Arthur won the fight. I just didn't think it was a good fight, you know, and I think that has a lot to do with Yard. I think that Arthur won and coasted his way to a decision just using his jab you know i mean outside of a few right hands that he he landed um there was not not much from him but he didn't have to do too much because he was taller he was longer he used his jab he was uh effective with his jab and um he fought on his back foot well and yard really didn't do anything you know he stepped up the pressure in the later rounds but I think the problem with this fight, and I thought it was a, a fight that Yard should have won based on, I mean, going into the fight. You know, I don't think he actually won on the cards, but I think going into the fight, that should have been a fight that he, he should have won. But it goes back to him being inexperienced, you know, um, him not really knowing how to pace himself. And he's still learning, like he's still on a job. Like he went and, he went and fought a, 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 a long streak of guys that weren't really that good and then he went right into a Kovalev fight and a fight that yes it was a great effort you know he was a warrior um he was stopped but he did good against Kovalev there was a time when he hurt Kovalev bad and almost stopped him but it just wasn't enough and I think a lot of it had to do with inexperience and not really knowing how to pace himself all right he didn't fight that many amount of rounds he was so I think even in a Lyndon Arthur fight you know he usually felt he usually fight out of the Philly shell. And, you know, I was watching some of the highlights just to, like, try to refresh my memory of how that fight went. And as I'm watching it, I'm just wondering, like, why is he not changing his stance a little bit? Like, yo, give us a little high guard action in there to close the gap between you and Lyndon Arthur. We could see that the guy is not trying to come move forward, come forward after you. You wanted to fight on your back foot. When you tried to get him to follow you, he didn't go for it. He stood there and waited for you to follow him because he's taller and he's longer and he was very comfortable on fighting on his back foot. Anthony Yard didn't really do anything to make him uncomfortable. All right. Outside of throwing some rights to the body, some rights up top, he didn't switch it up. He didn't make any adjustments. And my thing is, yo, go into that high guard, inch in a little closer. You know what I'm saying? Don't stay in it, but get in, use it as a way to get closer, all right, and to attack the body. Don't stay in it because I know it takes away visibility and everything like that. You don't want to walk into an uppercut. You don't want to, you know, you'll, Lyndon will be able to loop some shots around the guard. So maybe he's going to hook, but at least do something different because what you were doing is it didn't seem like Yard really ever found the range between the two well. Um, I know he was shooting out that jab and I think he was trying to find the range and he did at times. Yes, he landed some right hands and stuff, but he wasn't really accurate with his jab, you know, and he wasn't really doing much with that lead left, like, like that lead hand. Do something that is going to throw Lyndon Arthur a little off and he didn't change anything. You know, he fought at the same pace and he fought at the pace that Lyndon Arthur preferred to begin with. And you can't do that. You can't go so long with fighting. I mean, like one, two rounds. Yeah, but I believe that fight was a 10 rounder or maybe it was a 12 round. I think it was a 12 rounder. But still, you gave way too many rounds away in that fight and without really making any adjustments, you know. And um, I don't know if that has to do with the corner. Maybe the corner was just telling him he's doing what the right thing because he kept coming out being very comfortable. It was no pressure there. It didn't seem like there was any pressure there. And I think maybe it's because he might have been thinking that he was winning the fight. So I really don't know. But listen, Lyndon Arthur, what he needs to do in this fight is continue doing what he needed to do or what he was doing in the first fight. 
You know, listen, if the pace is going in your favor, if it's a slower pace and Anthony Yard is not really drawing much, keep doing what you're doing. You know, you have the height, you have the reach, use that jab. You was able to connect with that jab consistently in the first fight, but land the right hands to let him know, like, listen, you get in my space, I got this right hand for you, you know, waiting here for you. So follow the jab with the right hand from time to time and maybe open up. Maybe he forces you to mix it up a little bit more. All right. But let's get some check hooks in there. Let's get, like, get a little bit more because we're expecting Anthony Yard to put the pressure on a little bit more. So if he does, you're going to have to go more and deeper into your bag of tricks and give him a little bit more than just a jab and a right hand. That's all you needed in the first fight because Yard wasn't really doing that much. But in this rematch here, he's probably going to open up a little bit more. So you got to be prepared for that. So in that sense, he has to do a little bit more. And if there's opportunities to do it, go to the body. If you have opportunities, go to the body. We know that he's not really sure how to pace himself. We've seen him get burned out in the Kovalev fight. So work that body a little bit more. You know, if he's going to be coming in on you, make him pay. Shoot that jab to the body. You know, take that air out. So that's what Linda Arthur needs to do. And I think if he does it and if he is able to be the ring general like the way he was in that first fight, he should be able to win a decision. Anthony Yard, on the other hand, I'm expecting him to bring that pressure. Do some of the things I said earlier in this video here. Use that high guard to get in closer, all right? Attack the body more, all right? You was landing. You was on the money with those straight rights. We saw those straight rights land, but it wasn't enough, all right? Um, let's get some, like, level changing, you know? Let's get some upper body moving. Move your head as you're coming in, all right? Let's get some pull counter. Let's get some catch and shooting. Like, let's get a little bit more than what we were getting. Make this guy afraid to use that jab. Take the jab away from him. All right, let's get some hooks to counter that jab. Send something back when he's throwing that jab. Don't just wait and wait and wait and wait, you know, but change the levels. Let's probe a little bit. Let's do a little bit more with that lead hand to throw him off. You got to do something outside of just looking pretty with that high guard. You're just not going to roll every shot and counter with the right hand. He loves to do it. We know that he loves it. If you've been watching him in his career, he loves to roll the shots and hit and respond with that. That, that short right hand, but you got to do a little bit more, you know what I'm saying, we got to get some hooks, man, we got to get like more stuff, you got to have to go on your back because you already lost the first fight, so with that being said, Anthony Yard, I'm expecting him to bring the pressure on and to try to hurt Lyndon Arthur, and I think that's exactly what he's going to do, he just needs to learn how to pace himself, don't pressure like crazy, like Tia Fimo just did, pressure to a point, you smart pressure, take a couple rounds, put the pressure on, then take a round off. Don't just give up six, seven rounds before you start putting on a fight. You know what I'm saying? Round by round, take a couple rounds, take a round off if you have to, but put that pressure on. You're shorter. You don't have the reach. Get inside, all right? Get inside, but do other things to get in. Go into the high guard. Don't stay in it. Just switch it up. Pro, faint. You know, change levels, change directions, you know, don't just stand right in front of him and walk, float, like follow him, you know, use a little lateral movement, like reset yourself from every now and then do something a little different. Don't just just walk in and just make it predictable. All right. I think Anthony Yar is going to take it this time. I'm not really sure if it's going to be a, a knockout or, 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 or like a decision. But I'm picking, I'm picking Anthony Yard to win this one. I think he's just gonna be able to outwork Lyndon, and uh, I'm gonna go with a prediction, um, uh, not prediction. I'm going with, with a, uh, 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 a decision win, you know, because I don't know if he's gonna be able to get him out of here. I think he's capable of doing it, but I think the extra pressure this time around, yes, he may take more hits, but I think he showed how much like a tough dude taking all those hits from Kovalev. I think he's going to be able to go forward, do it, take care of him, and, and win this one this time around. All right? So that's my quick prediction. I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, peace.